Now shifting gears quite a bit. Korea is famous for actively exporting its cultural contents overseas from K-pop to TV dramas. Now one of the country's art movements is gaining traction, especially with collectors from around the world. And it's also why auction house Christie's is highlighting Korean art at a special event in Hong Kong. Our Kim Jeon has more. The art world is buzzing over Korean monochromatic paintings known as Tansekwa. An indication of this is an event highlighting the art form that opened last Friday at Christie's Hong Kong. The global auction house has already sold 80% of the 35 Korean pieces there, valued at a combined 34.3 million U.S. dollars. Christie says that after 11 years of promoting and curating Korean art, international collectors are now understanding how to appreciate the materials, colors, and spirituality that's part of this contemporary art movement. One of the most expensive piece was by late Korean painter Kim Ang Gi, which sold for 7 million U.S. dollars. Kim Ang Gi started presenting his pieces since the late 1930s, incorporating Korean modernism and nature into his paintings. Eric Chang, Christie's deputy chairman for Asia, says Kim's work has wide appeal among collectors because of its unique textures and colors. So the, with a small size, you can see very far distance, but you, you sense of the, the, co the colors, it looks like in between the shadow and lighting. So the Korean art, in some way, they describe the pure, like blue color. It's similar like the impression is. While Korean art is just beginning to make waves on the international auction market, Chang believes demand will grow, especially as Korea's brand value rises overseas with the popularity of Korean music and food products. Christie's Asian Contemporary Art event is taking place at the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center and runs through Wednesday. Kim Jeon, Arirang News, Hong Kong.